welcome and thank you for coming along. So I'm just signed it well because I, I was just about to uh, to lock off. This was only supposed to be a test stream, so it's uh, uh, just to make sure I've got everything set up correctly. Um, is there anything else you want to see whilst I'm here? Oh yes, yeah, I was going to show you the clean chips. There is a uh, go to the transporter and then go to the where's it gone? Where's it gone? So so for you. Uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, go to the shipyard. That really shows off the, uh, the Klingon ships. Yeah, let's go to the transport chief and let's bring to the shipyard. See, on, star, on the Earth Starbase it's all, it's all together in one location, but uh, the Klingons have theirs in a separate separate area. Uh, they have the academy as well. Let's go over here. Here you can let's see, if I can see if you can show the different ships. Yeah, there you go. I think that's a Negvar, that one, that big one. So it shows you shows you what they are. But different ships. Oops. Where's it going? Uh, yep, yeah, that's the Raptor. Where's the Rip? Oh, here we go. It's really uh, been a while since I've been here. Yeah, this is where you get your ships from. You can narrow it down to raiders, raptors, battle cruisers, small craft, or others. So, at the the fleet tier six, they're like the top of the range ships. So yeah, you've got the Negvar, the Quib, the Mata, the Morg battle cruiser, which is that's a beast. Uh, Orion flight deck assault cruiser. These are all really powerful, powerful ships. But you don't need, they just that, that, that extra feature like uh, this one, for example, has a commander tactical in the command station. This one is just engineering and that uh, determines what. Uh, oh, well done! What, um, what faction are you playing as? Klingon, I, I assume? Or is it Federation? So, level 10, so that would be. Um, I think that would make you a lieutenant. Yeah. So you don't get that many to choose from. You get the Burrell. That's one you have to pay for, but I've already unlocked it. Um, the shuttle, you don't want that. Uh, it's a fighter. That's like your shuttlecraft. Yeah, this is like lieutenant commander. So it's like the tier two. You've got battle cloaking devices and normal cloaking devices. The, the main difference between the two is battle cloaking you can activate while you're in combat. The other one is you have to activate before you go into combat. Let's have a look at the uh, ship customization as well. This is a nifty little feature I like. I think it's over here for the Klingons. Ah, yeah. No. Wrong one. Ah, here we go, customize your ship. Let's go to customize starship. This is where you can really see what the shuttle and the ships look like with the different options. Yeah. This only has one option, the Somra. But as you go through some of the ships, yeah, that's that's completely understandable. Um, Dilithium is quite easy to earn in the game, so you don't have to worry about too much of that. Something you, you can bear in mind is that you can actually convert Dilithium into Zen. Now, it does take a long time to do it, but if you've got quite a few different characters on all alts, um, it's it's worth doing. Also, keep an eye on you know, see if there's any like, sort of freebie promotions for uh, free ships and stuff like that that they do every now and then because it's a, it's a nice way of building up what ships you've got. But yeah, I'll, I can completely understand why the, the Zen and Dilithium is not an option. That's uh, 
be honest, you don't actually really need it. It's they're more for the you know, the premium premium ships. Even the basic freebie ones are uh, are pretty good. So let's see. I'm going to quick lock into one of my other characters just so you can see one of my Kling other Klingon ones, so you can have a look. Where's he gone? Let's go and look in Pugwash. That is a nice little ship. I do like that. And yes, it does have the official music as well, which is a nice little touch. Yeah, yeah. This is. <laughs> I haven't looked into this one for a while. Um, okay, so let's go to the same again. Uh, yeah, let's take that. There we go. This ship is basically focused on polar ones. Uh, he steals stuff. Also got a uh, Orion slavers, so as you can see, every self he steals energy credits, commodities, or contraband, which is very helpful. Oh, gone the wrong way. I'm an idiot. Romulan's not bad. Um, the thing to be aware of with Romulan is when you get up to the tier 5 and tier 6 if you're federation you only should be able to fly Romulan ships but the ships that you can have are, are interesting you know you can have like the scimitar you can have the uh, the Hakona which is like the split ship and things like that yeah Klingon Klingon's a lot of fun to play I just I mean the only particular reason why I've gone federation is I just like the ships that's all it is. Every so often I get the urge to play as a... It is to begin with, yeah. As I said, the first few missions you get when... Where's it available? Um, yeah, as you see, slightly different layout. So the, like Empire, Warzone... Yeah, the, this, I think for the Federation... Sorry, for the wrong... Bleh, pretty thing. This for the Klingons is where it starts to get good. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot of deaths, but don't worry about that. Um, the good thing is, unless you choose a higher difficulty setting, there is no penalty for dying. You don't get injuries, you don't lose gear, or anything else like that. The, um, the higher difficulties, you do start to suffer injuries. So, uh, for example, like your character might have, let's say, a broken arm, which means it'll hurt, uh, they'll end up being harder to shoot or to use hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, if it's on the ship, then no, the engines might not work as properly. Easy enough to get repaired, but it's a pain in the bum. So yeah, so your pro yeah, I wouldn't recommend it to begin with. I mean, once you've you know, once you've figured out the game, once you know what you're doing, uh, you know, you've, once you've built up a few bits and pieces, then maybe go to uh, the higher difficulty settings. But to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I, you know, it's it's not it's not needed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like you know, um, I don't know if you saw the, uh, the character I was running through earlier, the uh, the cannon he was running around with. That's a little bit OP. But um, when I first started off, I was exactly the same. It you know, it took me ages. I didn't even know what I was doing. One thing I do recommend, if you want to look at the stats, and I'll, f I'll see if I can find it for you, so you can have a look. Bear me one second. It's where's it gone? That that's the Wikipedia, and it tells you all about the different ships, about the different weapons, uh, how to get them, how much they cost, what you know, which ships are faster, which ships are slower, everything you need to know. Um, practically up until I think the last couple of months it's been updated but they're updating the newer stuff right now but it's worth giving that a look you know, if, you, if you get stuck on missions there's walkthroughs there as well uh, or if you, or, you know, have a look through the different ships and say to yourself yeah that's the ship I want um, you can have a lot of ships but I think to begin with the best thing we to do is to just focus on one particular ship that you want so you might want to go for um, 
I say the Negvar, or let's just, let's just go back. Let's go back up to the shipyard, actually, so I can show you. Yeah, yeah. find a ship that you think, oh yeah, that looks really cool, or you know, I want a ship that can blast the living daylights out of stuff, or I want that's fast, or something. Like that. Pick, pick one type of ship and then go from there. So where's it gone? Mm -hmm. Say for example, let's, let's just okay, let's just, let's just go for Lieutenant General because that's the equivalent of Admiral. Um, the Raiders, you can narrow it down to the different types of ships as well. We don't want small craft to begin with. So you've got the uh, the fleet, the Bird of Preys, they're quite nice. They're the ones that are fast, uh, the different style of the Bird of Preys there as well. Uh, nope, that's not uh, Let's look at the Raptors. The Klingons do have some very nice ships. The Heavy Raptors, which is, again, as you see. Some of these are really dis they're evil looking. Um, battle cruisers, they're the big boys. See, some of these you will have to uh, uh, either pay to get or use the Zen. But what you can do is where is it? Let's just find it. See, for example, uh, the Bortas. See, it's got no like. You know, special indicators or anything else like that. So you could end up getting that eventually. You don't have to join the fleet. Um, it does have some nice bonuses joining the fleet, like um, not just the, uh, you know, having people. Um, not afraid. Uh, you know, having people to to game with. Uh, you do get access to some of the more top of the range gear by doing that, but you don't need to. It's when I when I uh, see I don't I know I don't enjoy the one. Thank you very much. When I sort of restart the campaign on the fifth, I will be just focusing on the story. I won't be joining the fleet because a, a lot of my other characters have joined fleets, and it's been fun. It's been actually really really good fun actually. But I want to try it without fleet assistance for these ones. So people like yourself who don't want to join the fleet, who just want to uh, you know, see things as they are. I'll just show you my... Show you this. This is the Fecklier Tactical Carrier. It's a very spike. It, the reason why it's got this weird glow on it is what's called the Riemann Shields and you get a lot of stuff for free in the game so when you first start off the first 10 levels yeah <laughs> you will find yourself getting hammered left right and center but once you um, start building up um, you know a decent crew decent gear things like that then yeah you can get some get some good stuff like for example this character Captain Pugwash yes it's a very weird looking ship but it's supposed to. It's um, because this guy's a Norsican. You can, you, can, you can sort of see he's a weird-looking, almost like predator star. I can see if I can zoom in on his. Oh, hello. You can see he's got that like, sort of predator-style mouth there. But I really need to upgrade him. Um, what other thing as well is once you once you do get to the highest levels, and you get into the reputation system, this is where you can start actually getting some good gear without having to go through a fleet. These are, um, if you've ever played like World of Warcraft or anything like that, these are like the factions. So for example, this is the PvP one. This one focuses like on the Borg and you get different abilities that you can unlock. Uh, this one's set on Yukara, which goes up against the Folians. Romulus when you're helping the... On this particular character, um, no, I don't have any uh, EC on this character. Um, because I transferred it a long time ago to to my main one. So generally, once I get the ship I want on a particular character, I stop playing it um, because this was the not so much I get bored with it, but it's like, yep, that's my goal achieved. I want to work on getting another one. Um, no, fair enough. I basically have to assume that, unless people say otherwise, so.